Welcome to day two of nine freaking business trainings, y'all. So today is all about setting up your Instagram storefront to attract your target audience, okay? So this is a vital, vital portion of setting up your business online. Because think about it. When you go to a store, when it is all properly set up, it keeps you there longer. You're like, oh, what is this? What is this? What else do you have? Okay. So if your storefront is blank and empty, no one is going to stay on your profile. No one is going to check out what services you do. That's why you want to create a storefront that's very inviting to potential clients yo so what are we going to do today of course i'm going to give you these steps to set up a freaking bomb as storefront but there's no but let's just get started so i have taken notes down below so if i look down don't don't get mad at me okay i'm just making sure i give you all the information that i want to give you because as you know i like to talk a lot and your girl likes to side note so we're not going to do a lot of that today with my notes okay so number one is you want to be searchable when you are first creating your business people are not searching your name because your brand has not been established yet so if you are not established even when you are established it's so vital to have your title in the name field okay so along with your name have your title are you a health coach mindset coach business coach transformation coach whatever you do that's what you want to put in there to make sure when people are searching for things you're going to pop up so for example my name's mel and i'm a business coach so obviously i'm going to put business coach in there and i am also a lover of all things content and that's what i really help my clients with so my title is business plus content coach okay so that is my title so when people search business or content you know your girl's going to come up in that search okay so number one it's so crucial to make sure you are searchable and note when you give yourself a title make sure it's something someone is searching for so you know you don't want to put like woo woo fairy or something like that because maybe there are people searching woo woo fairies but you want to make sure you are being searched with titles and keywords that are a hundred percent known in your field okay so that is number one all right number two to get people on your storefront or staying on your storefront and knowing what you do is having an i help statement so an i help statement is your elevator pitch it's what you can tell people in real life as well as well as when people come to your instagram they know exactly what you do so my elevator pitch is i help new coaches attract high ticket clients with killer content and scale their income so when you come to my storefront you know exactly what i do i hang around with new coaches to intermediate coaches i help intermediate coaches as well but basically i'm really really putting it an emphasis on new because new coaches is where i direct my services to but sometimes intermediate coaches are not where they want to be. So even when they pop on my feed and they say, okay, this person helps attract high ticket clients. She helps me upgrade my content and helps me upgrade my income. That will still attract them. But you want to make sure that your I help statement is truly speaking to that one person because that one person is a mass of people. Okay. 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 So then next, after that, you want to make sure that you have a link in your Instagram. So the link you can use for continuous connection. This is where you can build your email list. This is where you can totally attract them to your other services. Okay. So maybe you have a program that's launched right now. You get to direct them to your link. Hey, go check out my link. Sign up, apply, enroll, anything. If you have a freebie, if you have a challenge, you can direct them to that link so that you can start collecting those emails because it is so vital to collect emails for your business, y'all. If you haven't started your email list, it's time to start an email list because if all the platforms in the world just psh, went up in air, you still have your email list and you can still sell to people and you can still make 
money okay so think of it like that think of it like that so if you are not really putting an emphasis on your email list start giving out those freebies start giving value so that you can collect those emails so that link is a beautiful 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 thing to use to really take that connection with your clients potential clients even with your clients and extend it further okay all right, number four is all about the highlights. So think of the highlights as the Netflix of Instagram, okay? Because we all know we can all binge on Netflix, right? So when someone comes to your profile, you want them to stay on your profile. You want them to dive into your content. You want them to know exactly what you are about. And by having those highlights, that allows them to get to know you, to get to know your services, to get to know what you do for your clients, okay? So really important highlights to have are testimonials. What are your clients saying? What are you doing for people, okay? Your story, where do you come from? Share it, people wanna connect with you as a coach. Many trainings, y'all, many trainings. I'm gonna emphasize this. Many trainings are so important because they get to see you in your coaching space. They get to see you before they even invest in you to know what you can do. Even if they're like, I don't know if I wanna invest in this person, those mini trainings can take you from, I don't wanna invest in her to hell yeah, I need her as my coach, okay? So when I say do not take mini trainings lightly, that highlight is so powerful. Also, another highlight you can have is client, anything about your clients. So if your clients are just making progress, you can have different types of progress that is kind of relating back to your clients to show the work that you are doing. So those are some main main highlights that are so beneficial to have in your Instagram storefront. So to wrap it all up, before I wrap it all up, also make sure, which we are going to get into in one of my trainings, make sure that not only do you set up these four things, four things, you also take the time to create some damn good content, y'all. Because if people come to your profile, and maybe all this is set up, but you're not giving any value, which you can give so much value with those mini trainings. But when you have other content for them to dive into on your feed, that is powerful as well. So make sure that with your content, you are giving informative, educate them, give them some how to simple steps to move forward in the problem that they are struggling with. Give them some motivation, inspiration, show them your opinion, your authority, okay? Because people want to know that you have a voice. People want to know that you stand for something. So that is basically how to set up your storefront. And I didn't talk about having a per or personal versus uh, business storefront, but with the business uh, profile, you get to kind of add a calendar link as well as your email, as well as you can promote as well. So that is something to look into. I did not go over that. I'm sorry. I do have a business page, a business uh, account. So I would say if you are a business, it's might as well just switch to a business account and just be real. Don't hide it. You're not a personal account. You're a business. Let's be real. So with that said, I hope that this truly, truly helped you and make sure to download the workbook so it takes you through all the steps, okay? Every single step that I mentioned, it takes you through the steps to make sure that you have set up your storefront correctly as well if you have not set up your I help statement on day one, that workbook takes you all through your I help statement. That is the bonus edition of that workbook. So I highly, highly recommend going into that workbook and getting down and dirty with your I help statement because it's powerful as well as it helps you know exactly who you are serving 